There's nothing like some good bubbles. Uh, I, I forgot to mention when we were talking about Imperial Toys. Do you know what Imperial Toys is famous for? They're bubbles. They have every kind of bubble for every kind of thing. And what a great stocking stuffer. Um, and I, I have this opinion that you are never too old to have bubbles or a kite. Uh, you know how people say, go fly a kite? Um, I know people will say, oh, older kids, we don't want to encourage. I, I really just don't subscribe to that. You can always, maybe you don't do it on the school playground when you're 14. Although, you know, the kiddos that do ha are having a good time. Bubbles are very relaxing. Um, but when you have young kids, bubbles are the best. I, I don't know how, usually we include bubbles in some way in our toy guide, but we had so many things this year. But let me just say, great stocking stuffer for everyone. A little canister of bubbles. And I'll tell you, most of the bubbles that you find commercially are Imperial Toys. They are the king and queen of bubbles. Uh, but they have these great swords that come with characters. And I've got a, uh, um, a Minnie Mouse one. They have Barbie ones. They, you know, this is a, an Avengers one. Uh, great stocking stuffer, very inexpensive, but if you have a child who's not speaking yet and you want to see if you can get to language, bubbles are, you know, number one thing that therapists start with because they're very reinforcing and kids get very excited. It's the easiest thing to do to get them to make the sound ba 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 because you just take your wand, big or little, whatever it is, and you go and you pull this out and kids, once they see bubbles, they come running, right? I have yet to meet the kid that didn't like bubbles. And you blow the bubbles a couple of times and they like to pop them and whatever, you get their interest. And then you take the wand out and you pause. And you don't do anything for a second. You make the shape and you don't do anything. And the child starts to get excited and then you say, ba, 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 bubble. Right? And now the sound of ba, ba, ba is reinforcing to them. And you will see they start, if you do it over and over and over again, the child starts to move their lips that way. They go, right? And then, so then you say ba, ba, and you, and then you, you know, touch them and say ba, and they'll, you know, they will try. And we reward that approximation, whatever the effort is to begin with, that we blow the bubbles. And we just keep doing it. I didn't get it all the way in. Uh, we just keep blowing bubbles until we get them to say ba, right? And then eventually we get them to say ba, ba, and then ba, bull, right? And when they get whatever the thing is that we're working on, we blow the bubbles. I'll tell you, you can not only get them to make the sound, but you can get them to sign or say more eventually. You get them to, you know, do more, more bubbles, um, and... It's how, it's how you get sound going. And where we know that there's sound production, we know that we can get to language, right? If you see that the child cannot make the sound of the buh, then it's time to talk to your team about uh, getting them checked to see what's impeding that. Okay, so love me some bubbles of any size, shape, or form, but almost always they're imperial toy bubbles. Thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.